So for today, we'll be listening to Jean Alvarado Chu. Um, she would be talking about how to start a business or her journey to starting her business, which is Sumuji Philippines. Um, so it's about an hour or so, um, but you'll learn a lot, um, especially from her experiences, starting from um, being an employee to becoming her or becoming an entrepreneur, right? So without further ado, I'll give you Jean Alvarado Chu. Okay. So again, thank you, Murphix, for inviting me here. So it's such a uh, privilege and honor to be part of this uh, uh, webinar discussion. So first, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Jean Alvarado. I'll show you some slides of uh, my background. Uh, Hold on for a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Were you able to see my screen? Yes. Okay. So to start with, again, my name is Jean Alvarado. So you can call me Jean for short. Um, I am the CEO of uh, Sumuji Philippines. So a uh, quick background about, my, about myself. So I started, uh, I am a graduate of uh, BS Marketing University of Mahati. And then after I graduated, I actually started a job at Jollibee before I entered in, into this kind of business. Uh, naging, uh, Crew ako before sa Jollibee. I lasted for six months and then I ventured in the BPO industry where actually I met Murphix. So I stayed in Accenture for five years, one year in Cognizant and one year in Optum. So in my experience as a BPO industry, I actually have a lot of experience in I have a lot of experience in managing people because I was a team leader and assistant manager there before. Uh, actually, I also learned to enter uh, a business because I entered in a photography photography industry, which is a uh, uh, APC photography that time. So, dun ako first nagkaroon ng exposure when it comes to handling a business because we started a studio business, a photography business. Uh, that time, uh, pinagjajagal ko yung photography business and then yung work ko as an assistant manager. I actually tried having a full-time business of photogra photography. However, that time, kasi medyo may challenges when it comes to photography business because it's all about ano eh, uh, active income. So parang for me, it's the only source of income that I have. So I go back again to, to BPO industry. Then, during that five years in my employment days, I realized that I need something that is passive income, which is that time, sobrang in yung uh, franchising business. So, I tried venturing in a fra into franchising. Uh, though, wala pa akong malaking budget, I started with a Shomai business, which is a franchising, which is hindi ko na kailangan i-conceptualize on my own because they, are, they already have a system in place. I have to uh, just copy it and operate the business. And then it worked for me. Though uh, it lasted for six months, I venture into franchising, I, I market it. And then the company that I was into, noticed uh, they noticed me that... Um, maganda yung referral system ko when it comes to business. So, ang dami nag inquire sa akin, ano daw yung franchise ko, ano daw yung business na pinasok ko. And then, I sell a lot of franchises from my previous company. That's why they promoted me as the VP for marketing and franchising. So, I lasted there for four years. Doon ako sobrang nakagain ng a lot of experiences when it comes to uh, franchising. Kasi I become part of the management, so natutunan ko yung mga in and outs of the franchising business, how to handle after sales and how to handle the marketing side. So from there, um, during my stay in that franchising company, that time, naisip ko na, na why not I come up 
on my own business, on my own concept. Together with my team, actually, we have ano, five of us, a business partner. We come up to a concept na something na very new and uh, something na alternative siya for milk tea, milk tea business, which is a, a healthy concept. Then, doon na namin in start yung Sumuji na concept. So, this is the birth of uh, Sumuji. So, June 2019, dyan kami nag-start, uh, conceptualize ng concept namin. That time, um, hindi pa namin alam kung ano yung mararating ng business. So, all we know that this is something very promising. So, uh, we set up our first branch in uh, Eastwood. We started in Bazar lang. So, mga, mga mini ano lang lang, uh, mini setup lang sa weekend bazaar. And then, overwhelmed kami sa approach ng tao. As you can see in my slides, nandyan yung approach ng mga tao. Nagustuhan nila uh, yung, yung ino-offer namin na drink, ino-offer namin na business. So, na-realize namin na ang dami palang naghahanap ng, ng drink na healthy and at the same time, uh, masarap. Kasi when, when we think of something na healthy, ang iniisip kasi natin is um, lasang gulay, lasang prutas, maasim, but we come up to a concept na masarap and at the same time healthy. So since they know us that we are in a franchising industry, when we set up the Sumuji, uh, a lot of people asking us, is this open for franchise? Pwede ba namin siyang... Uh, a business parang looks interesting, Instagramable yung concept, gusto namin yung concept mo. Then, me and my business partner come up to a plan na, sige, let's um, start this na, na ipa-franchise. So, November 2019, sinetop na namin siya for franchising. And surprisingly, that month, uh, meron kami na pa-franchise. So, they really love the concept, they love the business, they taste the product. Sobrang naniwala sila dun sa business plan namin. And then, nagkaroon kami ng several franchises. We opened up our first branch in SM Tugigaraw, our franchisee. Medyo malayo nga lang siya, out of Manila. Pero, sobrang naging maganda yung approach ng mga tao. And then, nagkasunod-sunod na. Uh, nagkaroon kami sa SM Sukat, sa SM South Mall, uh, SM Manila, SM Bikutan, mostly SM stores. And then, even other malls like Robinson's and Ayala, they approach us na baka gusto namin mag-open ng branch sa kanila. And then, even outside Manila, nagkaroon na rin kami ng mga inquiries. Uh, right now, we, we, meron na rin kami na SM Cebu, meron na rin kami Daet, Bacoor. And Davao, pagkakaroon na rin kami. So, it's all nationwide. So, imagine in in a span of uh, three months, we were able to uh, gain like 18 franchise total na iniisip namin it will open this year. However, dahil nga sa nangyari na COVID, uh, COVID pandemic, so, ang karoon ng delay dun sa opening namin. But as of today, we have a total of 18 franchise na sa Sumuji. So, nakaka-overwhelm din yung naging approach ng mga tao dun sa concept na namin. So, yun yung naging success story ng, ng, ng business namin. Siguro, one of the things na nakapag pa success, na, naging successful sa business natin, naging successful sa business namin is the product itself. The product na meron kami, it's very consistent, which is duplicable siya in terms of uh, franchising. And then, we have a system in place, very, very simple um, management that we have in Sumuji. And the technology that we have too is very innovative. So, yun yung mga nagustuhan din ng mga tao. So, right now, since yung Sumuji is naging maganda yung approach ng mga tao, we come up, me and my business partner, we come up to another company, which is a franchising company, that is supposed to be launched uh, no March. However, dahil nga sa, sa COVID, no, medyo na delay siya. But we're open up, opening up a franchising company na rin, which caters uh, different kinds of concept, not just Sumuji. So, ito yung isa sa mga promising din na gusto namin na i-launch in the future. So, from there, so that is my short story na, na naging long na. So, that is the success stories of... Uh, of the Sumuji and the 
the new business na ilo-launch namin, which is the Upreneur. That's it. Thank you, uh, Murphix. Thanks, Jean. Um, can you hear me properly, Jean? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I just disabled my video, no? Kasi medyo, for some reason, na nag-start tayo, saka naman bumago yung connection ko. <laughs> uh, so anyways, um, so thank you for sharing your story, no? Um, I know you've been with business or with corporate, right? And then nag-shift ka sa business. So I have prepared some questions, right? And then, um, sa mga audience natin, if they want to um, ask questions, they can chat, right? And then we'll answer their questions. But so far, since they might be still thinking of the question, um, I have prepared several questions here. Um, so I know you can see, but one thing um, nandito is why shift from being um, employed and restarting a business, right? Um, we all know that Almost all Filipinos are, or hindi naman all, pero mm. it's more of like majority would like to have a stable job. So why venture into a business that's major risky? Ako kasi yung siguro turning point ko na para mag business is I want to have uh, financial independence and time freedom. Kasi um, yung lifestyle na gusto ko is not yung na nakukuha kong lifestyle sa work before. Um, gusto ko makapag-travel anytime. Gusto ko control ko yung hawak, kan hawak ko yung oras ko. And at the same time, my goal kasi is to help others. Kasi if I'm working as as employed, I just working for my own. If I set up my own business, I was able to help other people kasi I can provide employment to others. So siguro yun yung naging ano ko naging turning point ko kung bakit gusto kong mag-start ng sarili kong business. And of course, syempre, financially, gusto ko na rin maging independent to the point na even though I am not working at all, I can still earn from passive income. Kung baga magkaroon ako ng leverage dun sa, ano ko, dun sa income ko. Alright. Um, one of the things kasi na parang lagi nilang sinasabi, Mm -hmm. I've, I've talked about this with um, say Ricky then, no? Kasi mm -hmm. as an employee, you're sure na makakatanggap ka ng 50, every 15 or every 30, right? May, may ganun ka bang issue na, oh, sorry, so, eh, wala akong matatanggap. Parang ganun. Uh, actually, yes. Yun yung naging fear namin nung nagsastart pa lang kaming mag-business. Uh, Kasi diba, ang, ang first business namin before is a photography business, which I consider an active income. So, during that time, pag wala kaming shoot, naisip namin na wala rin tayong kikitain. So, struggle din siya for us. So, yun siguro yung nagiging, uh, kung bakit yung mayaman, yung mga business owners, is because nandun yung fear nila na I have to work harder para may maipon ako ng maipon. Para in times of rainy days, meron akong savings. Kasi, yun nga yung, ano eh, yun yung maganda, yun yung, risk sa business owners. Wala silang secured income in a monthly basis. So, what they're trying to do is they hustle harder para kung may times man na magkaroon ng emergency or anything na mag, mag lilo man yung business nila, they still have funds. Kahit na they already have savings, if, if you notice, most of the business owners, kahit na may mga savings sila, they always think of an alternative to earn more kasi Yun nga yung fear nila. Wala silang, wala silang secured income. So, they think of ways how to grow and how, how to grow and grow their money. So, yun yung nagiging advantage of a business owner. Ah, so, parang, doon mo mapapansin na parang yung mga business owners, hindi lang isang business. Most of them, parang several, no? Yes. Kaya, nung nag-photography nag kami, kasi nakita namin active income, ano pa ba yung mga other businesses na pwede nating pasukin, na pwede pang mag-gain sa atin ng income, ng earning. Sabi nga nila, ba don't put your eggs in one basket. So, yun yung yung naging concept ng mga business owners. Okay, so, when you mentioned about active income, passive income, hmm. um, ano yung, um, how do you define passive income? Kasi when I was starting, iba yung definition ko, yun know? Mm -hmm. Now that I'm starting yung mga businesses and stuff, parang naging iba yung, per yung perception ko about passive income. So for you, mm -hmm. anong 
definition mo ng passive income? Ako kasi, ang, ang definition ko for me, ano ah, sa sarili ko ng passive income, ah, ng active income first. Active income kasi ito yung income na pumapasok once sa pinagtrabahuhan mo siya. Okay? Kung baga, in Tagalog, is, uh, isang kahig isang tuka. Ganun. Active income naman is your making leverage through the people na kaya kang i-duplicate. Ibig sabihin, kahit mawala ka, magkasakit ka, you can still earn. So, in an example, example active income is, uh, lagi ko itong in-example, uh, magtataho. Kung magtataho, kapag hindi siya nagtinda in a day, of course, wala siyang earning. So, I, I can call it an active income. So, a passive income naman is, let's say, si magtataho, no, mag, meron siyang sampung hinire na mag-sell for him if in case na magkasakit siya, nakikitain pa rin siya. Kasi he leveraged himself through others. So, nagkaroon na ngayon siya ng passive income through others. Yun yung definition ko ng active and passive income. Ah, okay. Right. Because one of the thinkings ng passive income is you don't need to work anymore. Eh. So, yes. so, so, it's not that, no? I, I, I don't believe kasi na ano eh. Now, ano, yung may mga bagay na hindi ta... May, kung na, I don't think talaga na ang passive income, hindi mo siya paghihirapan. Hindi ka na talaga. Yung tipong matutulog, kakikita ka na lang. There's no such thing as that. Unless you put it in a bank, mag-earn siya for a certain interest. Pero very, very, very minimal. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, let's move on to the next one, right? Um, anyway, shout out sa mga nasa Davao ngayon. <laughs> right? so Hello. We have, we have people listening from Davao as well, right? Um, so next thing is, uh, what's the hardest when you were starting? Yung starting the with? hardest, uh, starting a business. Uh, siguro yung pinaka, pinaka mahirap na na-experience ko when, when starting a business, yung feeling... Actually, it's more on the feeling na malulugi ka. Kasi yan din yung struggle na na-experience ngayon ng mga magsa-start pa lang mag-business. Yung idea na baka hindi to mag-work, baka hindi to, hindi to, hindi to pumatok, hindi to kumita. Kasi nung we started our photography business and yung show my business namin, ang iniisip ko noon, on the first few months, kumikita siya. And then after several months, hindi na siya kumikita. So, yun na doon na yung fear ko na, na hindi pala lahat ng business, it will, mag, mag-work out as the way you wanted it to be. So, ang naging lesson learned sa akin nun is yung fear ko dapat ma-overcome ko. If there are certain business na hindi nag-work for me, I should try even harder pa. Kung ano pa yung business na mag-fit sa Mag-fit para sa akin. Mag-fit para sa, sa lifestyle ko. So, I tried different business. Actually, I tried uh, piggery business nga eh before. However, yun nga. Nandun na yung risk factor na baka hindi to kumita kasi hindi ko siya na monitor Wala ako doon. But then, nung nag-fail siya, I tried again and again. That's why I became successful in this business. In this, in this uh, industry. All right. Anyways, um, feel ko yung medyo sa, um, sa piggery. Kasi ako, I have investments sa piggery. Tapos, <laughs> medyo nalugi ngayon dahil sa ESF, yung African Swine Flu. Oo. So, yun, patay lahat. <laughs> Anyways, ah, oh. just move on, right? Yun yes. Lang yun. Actually, ganyan hindi niya nangyari sa akin. Namatay daw siya lahat. So, oh. Uh, ano yun eh, after six months ng pwede na siyang manganak, yung ganon, so namatay siya lahat. So, very frustrating kasi syempre, ano ba yun eh, pinaghirapan mo yung, yung investment mo dun eh. However, you have to, ano eh, you have to take the risk. Try ka ulit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So, yun yung hardest sa'yo, no? Yung parang... Yung fear. Not, yung yung fear, fear, na- fear of fear. Uh, how about yung fear sa starting a business like with all the papers, yung mga permits and everything else. Kasi for some yun yung parang mm. ang dami naman nito eh. So is that hard or how would you rate that, you know? Um for me it's not hard at at this ano eh, this time na. Kasi madali na ngayon mag 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 
ma file ng mga papers. If you have someone na pwede mong um, itap, who could help you dun sa mga papers mo? But let's say, kunwari, um, start your entrepreneur ka pa lang and you're starting a small-scale business, you're going to get a barangay permit, yung mga DTI, and um, uh, mayor's permit. Ang mahirap lang naman yung license with the barangay and mayor's permit. But other than that, like yung mga DTI and everything, you can do it online na kasi madali na rin naman yung, yung pag-access natin eh. Ngayon, sa mga permits and licenses. But I don't consider it as hard as long as ano naman eh, na may katulong ka na magpa-process noon. Mad- mad- for me, madali naman siya. Well, kinukonsider lang nila yung mga taxes and everything na mahirap kasi syempre, part siya ng operational expenses mo. Pero kung y- y- you're earning a lot naman, it can cover up. Okay. So, right. I, I don't consider it as ano talaga, yung mga major yeah. struggle ko. Mm-mm. Okay. All right. So, with with you being in the business, how, how are you managing your finances, right? Like, do mm. you save? How much how much do you, yung parang emergency money or may operate? Yung parang ganun. Ako personally, naniniwala pa rin ako doon na dapat 20% na sa ano mo, emergency fund mo. So, yung the remaining, it will be more on your expenses, more on your, uh, uh, 10% will be on your luxury, and the, yung the rest na yun is yung mga commodities mo na, or yung mga necessities mo na. So, I make sure that I still save uh, yung money na na-earn ko. Uh, I, I do believe in savings, pero kasi ang turo sa akin ng husband ko, which is si Ricky, sabi nga, Hindi mo kailangan tipirin yung sarili mo. You just have to work harder to earn more. So, hindi mo, hindi kailangan, kumbaga, if you want a lifestyle na na gusto mo maganda, kailangan pagpagura mo talaga. Kailangan you have to hustle harder. Kasi, ang hirap naman yung tinitipid mo yung sarili mo. Like, titipid ako ng a certain amount. Pag nabili ko na yon, magtitipid ako ulit. ba? Hindi kasi yun ang tinatawag natin financial freedom. So, ang financial freedom is you, you have a lot to spend. But at the same time, you're saving some for the emergency fund. All right. Um, Do I are you your question? <laughs> yeah. So, are you um, are you receiving salary sa business mo? Or how do you separate that? Yes, meron. Actually, uh, lima kami na business partners. So, meron din kaming salary for different position. So, yung profit share namin at saka yung salary namin, separate, separate pa rin yun. Okay. So, That's yung salary ko will be, ano na yun, pang mga be sure and everything. Iba yung profit share. Medyo mas malaan na kami yun. Okay. So, where do you get your savings? Doon sa profit sharing or doon sa um, income or salary mo? Um, kinukonsider ko ko yung ano ko kasi yung uh, salary ko na pang ano ko lang kumbaga pang araw uh, hindi ko siya kinoconsider na pang uh, kinoconsider sorry kinoconsider ko siya na pang araw-araw ko pero yung profit ko yun yung yung yun yung savings ko yun talaga yung itinatabi ko for my savings mm, and okay. pang bili ko na mga in the future pang invest ko pa rin sa mga businesses or pang bili ko na mga assets Talagang kinikip ko yung bulk amount ng money ko. Pang ano talaga? Pang invest pa sa other businesses, if ever. Okay. Um, so, what's your starting capital? Um, ano yung... When you started your business, right? Ano yung capital na sabi mo, okay na to? Parang ganun. Mm, uh, dun sa, muna tayo sa small business ko. Kasi if we're gonna talk about sumuji, medyo mas ma- malaki-laki rin talaga. Um... From my employment to uh, turning into business, kaya kung nasabi na pwede na to pang business. Um, when I start ako, I started fifty thousand ata fifty thousand pesos dun sa small so my business. Though I'm not expecting na lalago yon ng fifty thousand or maukuha ko yun na three times. Ang na ang nakuha ko don is experience. So, yun yung starting capital ko. 50,000 yung 
sinimulan ko. Mm, so, you're saying na parang when yung start ng business mo, no, not you don't really expect it to to profit in a sense na parang magbo-boom agad sa. So, more of like at least parang tuition fee for your experience, parang ganun. Ah, uh, yes, actually. Yung unang yung unang thinking ko naman kasi, of course, when ang thinking kasi ng ibang tao, when they enter into business or, or when they entered into investment, automatically, 100% guaranteed may income kasi nga kaya nga yung mayaman ang business owners kasi kumikita sila. Pero they don't know na yung money na in-invest nila for first year nila or dun, during starter years nila, it's actually some of them fail. Ang nagiging lang talaga nila is experience. Like on our side, we started our show, may business. Pero, actually, hindi talaga ako kumita. Pero, ang na-experience ko doon is how to manage a small scale business. Then, in-apply ko yon sa second business ko, nag-invest ulit. Then, siguro, mga kalahati noon, kumita, kalahati noon, may na-save, pinang-invest ulit. And then, from there, from, through the experiences, and then, through the money na na-save, sa-save ko from the previous, um, business, yun yung natatabi ko, experience and money, combine it, it will be helpful for your succeeding business na. Okay, alright. Um, so, yeah, it's the same way, right? Because like mm-hmm. what I mentioned to you na, um, yung sessions ko for this, like uncover, um, the first one is stocks, and that's the same mindset that we have. Yung first investment mm-hmm. mo sa stocks is more on um, learning the how how stock market works eh, parang ganon. Mm. Yes. Right. So when when you started like having your business, um, did you make sure na yung fifty thousand, yung fifty thousand for example, is sayo yan or nagloan ka? Actually, loan yon. Ah, uh, ni loan lang namin ni Ricky yon sa credit card niya. Kasi that time I I'm employed pa kami eh. so so. Ang struggle namin noon, medyo mataas din kasi yung lifestyle namin nung nagtatrabaho kami. Wala talaga kami cash on hand. Kasi nga, yung thinking namin na bakit kami magsisave? Kasi meron naman kami darating sa 15 and 30. So, lahat na nakukuha namin, spend agad. So, yung inisip namin na mag-venture na kami into business, wala kami cash on hand. So, sige, try natin mag-loan. Ang maganda lang sa amin is uh, very risk taker kami na kahit na utang, feeling namin if we work hard on it, mag-work siya eh. So, yes, we do, ano, uh, venture sa mga loans din. Basta confident ka na kaya mo rin siyang mabawi. Would you advise na mag-loan yung mga, like, some of the folks na listening to us right now? Or that depends on their capability to to pay. Kasi like, sabi mo, mm-hmm. ano kayo, you were working, right? So, may pumapasok mm-hmm. pa. What if it's their last mm-hmm. money? Would you suggest? Well, actually, to, if it's for business naman, I encourage them na mag-loan. Kung para sa business. Pero kung in-loan nila, is for, alam mo lang, luxury lang. Huwag na. And then, if uh, mag-loan sila, I think, Dapat kasi yung level ng confident nila is kaya rin nilang, kaya nilang mabawi. Hindi lang tipong, ah okay, may bagong trend ngayon, which is milk business, try ko mag-loan. Then, mag-business ako. Tapos pag nag-fail siya, ayaw na nila mag-try. Dapat kasi yung perseverance mo na, na yung heart mo nandun na talaga sa business, is nandun dapat. Kung hindi mang mag-work yung unang business mo, na loan mo lang yung money, dapat you should try again and again. Kasi baka mamaya, uh, alam mo yun, nabigla ka lang dahil trend siya, nag-loan ka, and then afterwards, nabawon ka na sa utang. So, magkakaroon ka pa ng financial issues in the future. Hindi naman, yung, yung puso mo, wala naman dun sa pagbe-business talaga. Alright, so, so it's a conscious um, thinking dapat na talagang I really go for it, no? Hindi yung pwedeng ang naisipan lang, mm. sabihan na mag na mag Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Um. Alright, so um, I think you discussed this a while ago already. Um, yung where did you get your idea mm. for your business? Mm-hmm. Um, for those joining in late, can you provide that um, 
or can you answer the question? Where did you get your idea for your business? Actually, um, kasi di ba last year, yung milk tea business is sobrang rampant siya. Uh, lahat ng tao gusto mag milk tea business, lahat ng tao gusto mag-try ng milk tea, yun yung trend that time. So, ang thinking namin nung business partners ko, the time is, ano kaya yung concept na may isip natin na pwedeng alternative to milk tea, but at the same time, we offer it as healthy alternative. Kasi, hati yung puso ng tao eh. They have cravings, and at the same time, they want something healthy. And at the same time, gusto nila Instagrammable. So, why not, let's come up to something na ikikrave nila, at the same time, healthy siya, kasi nga like sabi ko kanina, when when we speak of uh, drink, food, or anything that is healthy, compromise yung taste. But we come up to a concept na hindi compromise yung taste, healthy siya, masarap, Instagrammable, and at the same time, ano siya, yung repeatable siya. Pwede nilang ulit-ulitin na i-consume yung product namin. Kasi yun yung business na mag-work eh kailangan repeatable siya. Hindi lang tipong matikman siya, okay na. Just for the sake na, alam mo yon hype lang siya. So, we want something na na uulit-ulitin nila. It will last long. Hindi lang siya magla-last for six months. So, doon nakuha yung concept. Be, ano rin, sa idea rin before, nang kung ano yung trend before. But right now, kasi, yung Sumuji, we created a trend. So, it, this is the new trend. Something na may cravings and at the same time, healthy. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, parang narinig ko yung process, mga process improvement, or repeatable, mga ganyan. Like, it's very common. <laughs> Accenture na din. <laughs> right. So, anyways, um, when you're starting a business, do you wait, wait for it to be perfect in a sense, okay na lahat before you start? Or you, you just start and then, you know, figure it out? How do you go about it? Um, kasi ako naniniwala sa word na perfect. Kasi lahat kasi trial and error. So, like sabi ko nga sa'yo, yung sumuji kasi, when we started it, trial and error lang siya eh. Pinatikim lang namin siya sa friends. Hindi pa namin iniisip pag-work ba to, ano, ano ba to, 100% smooth sailing ba to. We just wanted yung friends namin, itry nyo to. And then afterwards, nagustuhan nila. Hinahalat namin sa iba, nagustuhan nila. And then we figure it out na, okay siya, mag-work siya. Kasi ganun sa business eh, kailangan itry mo nang itry, then doon mo marirealize na mag-work to. Minsan nga, kahit alam mong sobrang perfect na yung ginagawa mo, tapos i-launch mo siya sa market, people, people doesn't love uh, a perfect idea. Kasi gusto nga nila yung something na may konting plus, Right now, ha, sa, ang napapansin ko kasi ngayon sa, sa industry ngayon or sa, sa generation ngayon, even I'm, I'm watching blog, hindi na nila pinapanood yung something perfect. Pinapanood nila yung something na realistic. So, ako, I, I'll make sure that it's a trial and error. You will know na okay na siya sa market kapag pinatry mo na sa kanila and nakakuha ka na ng magandang feedback. That's the time na it's good to go. Uh, so you wouldn't you wouldn't really know unless you try it, no? Yes. Parang yun na yung talagang pinaka-benchmark. You really don't need to wait na ala, prepare ka ng prepare to be perfect only to find out hindi nila pala gusto. Yes, baka mamaya din kasi kaka-perfect mo nung idea mo, may nauna na sa'yo. Diba? Minsan kasi, some of the people are very perfectionist when it comes to their ideas to the point na ay yun yung mga naririnig sa other businesses, large businesses. Ah. They are trying to perfect their business and then eventually, someone launch it. Pag ikaw pa naman ang nauna mag-launch, pag ikaw yung naging pioneer, ikaw yung magbo-boom. Even if after you launch it, yung hype mo nawawala na. So you have to try it first. So you don't have to wait for the perfect time when it comes to business. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, your business um, is technically... From what you mentioned, in the na sa mall trade, um, mm-hmm. but with COVID nineteen now, close some malls, right? So how's your business before COVID nineteen and 
um, how's your business or how did you adopt um, with the COVID-19 already? Mm-mm. Actually, good question yan. Kasi um, hindi pa namin alam kung kailan mag-open ang mall. So, iniisip na lang namin yung worst case na baka mag-open siya by June or August. Ah, tama. June, July or August, something like that. So, ang before the COVID, no, ang dami talaga ka namin franchise. Sunod-sunod yung deliveries namin. Uh, yung, uh, yung branch namin sa Tugigaraw is uh, ang bilis ng orders nila. Um, actually, mag, mag-expo pa nga kami before the COVID to talagang expose our business to, to, to franchising. However, nagka-COVID, ang nangyari, so we waited for one month Siyempre, yun yung hindi pa alam yung status ng mangyayari. Eh. So, me and my business partner sabi namin, sige, let's just wait for one month or two. Ang nangyari kasi, isang hira pag, pag business owner ka, sabi ko nga, di ba, wala ka kasi secured income. So, we're, ang idea kasi ng mga business owner is not to be idle. So, we think of ways, paano pa rin siya ma-move yung product, paano pa rin ma-move yung business namin with the current situation. Kailangan kasi mag-adapt ka eh. Tama yung tanong mo eh. Paano ka mag-adapt sa situation? So, hindi kami pwedeng waiting game na lang. So, we think of ways paano ma-move yun. So, we open up yung mga online deliveries. Though may struggle ngayon when it comes to mga riders, pero slowly nakaka-catch up na kami when it comes to, the, to sales dun sa mga online deliveries namin. Ang good thing lang about dun sa product namin, Sumuji, is we have stocks na kahit though it's fruit, Uh, yung fruits ngayon is medyo mahirap nang makuha at mahal na sa market. Yung stocks namin is fresh pa rin. Nandun pa rin siya sa, sa warehouse namin. So, we can still deliver. All the products that we have is available, available pa rin siya. So, ayun. Uh, paano kami nag-adapt is hindi lang kami naging ideal. We think of ways. Um, we became creative. We became resourceful dun sa mga ways namin. Paano kami uh, makaka-earn pa rin kahit na nangyayari itong situation na ito. Alright. So, um, Jean, some of them are saying na nag, nag-break out ka. Right? Um, can, we, can we disable the video na rin para at least just, okay. ano, yung connection natin will be better. Baka ma-miss nila ang aking ano. <laughs> Sagmit lang naman. <laughs> Ayan. Okay. All right. How was it? Okay na? Yep, I think so. We'll, we'll see. Right? They'll, they'll, they'll tell naman. Okay. Um, so again, for those who are asking, like, or they're having connectivity issue, don't worry. Again, this is recorded. Um, we'll, we'll provide you a link on where you'd be able to view the whole uh, video. Right, so that at least medyo kung may interruption tayo sa video, at least or I mean, the live, you'll be able to okay. go to the video. But anyways, going back, um, what are your learnings with COVID-19? Like, um, what would be your moving forward? Actually, ang um, isa sa mga natutunan ko ngayong COVID is lahat ng pinlano mo as hindi siya mangyayari. I mean, kahit anong plano mo, maraming pwedeng mangyari. Like, sabi ko nga, ba? Diba? Um, this is a trial and error. So, kahit anong perfect mo dyan, hindi mo makukuha yung lahat ng gusto mong makuha. So, isa sa mga tutunan ko is dapat uh, may emergency fund ka. Personally, ha, on myself, ha. Isa sa mga natutunan ko is dapat number one, you have an emergency fund. Even though you're self-employed, un- unemployed, or a business owner, kailangan available yung emergency fund mo. Number two, uh, you should have uh, multiple income streams. So right now, even kami ha, business owner, we have different businesses, which is the photography, sumuji, and others. Stocks too. Oo, meron din kaming stocks. So, syempre, with the current situation, iniisip namin ni Ricky na pinag-uusapan namin na medyo mahihirapan na tayong ma-recover when it comes to our photography business. 
So, isipin, lagi ko sinasabi sa kanya, isipin natin na wala, wala na tayong mababalikan na photography business because of the social distancing, hindi na siya pwedeng gawin yung mga events. So, good thing is, we have a multiple income stream. So, inisip namin ngayon yung delivery na sumuji and at the same time, yung stocks ni Ricky, he's venturing into stocks right now. So, which you can do at home then. And then, um, actually, kailangan lang maging resourceful ka and creative ka. So, if if yung mga nakikinig sa atin, sabihin na natin, um, wala silang ginagawa ngayon, they don't have work, or naka-idol talaga yung business nila, be creative. Lalo na ngayon sa industry ngayon, food industry ang very in demand. So, if they know how to cook, they can post it online para to earn some money, they can resell some gym uh, 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 gym equipments kasi yung mga tao ngayon very ano na, health buff na ngayon eh. <laughs> diba? So, yun, you, you have to be creative. So, kailangan isipin mo kung ano yung current situation. Kailangan hindi mo siya isipin na hindi ka maging idle. Kailangan mag-adapt ka sa current situation. Okay. All right. Um, so next one, um, let's venture to franchising now. No? So okay. since this is your space, um, in in a short description, how would you say what is franchising? Uh, actually, franchising. Ano ito eh, It's a it's a license na inaalaw po ang isang tao to access your business system or your business property property knowledge mo or your trademark mo. You are allowing them to sell or to market the concept that you have with a certain fee. That's a concept of franchising. Okay. Um, so technically, it's the system, no? That you're, yes. you're getting. You're, it's the system that you're getting. All right. Um, so what are the advantages? And let's include already the disadvantages of franchising. Okay. So, self advantages mo na, no? Uh, well, the advantages of franchising kasi, you, ha- you already have a trademark and service mark. So, let's say it's it's established name already. Once you set it up in the market, hindi mo na kailangan ng marketing kasi yung brand na mismo yung nagpapakilala ng concept mo because you already buy the, the trademark and the service mark. Okay. And then at the same time, yung training support, meron din. Um, when you're setting up your new business or yung sarili mong, mag-conceptualize ka ng sarili mong business, no? you have to think of suppliers, isipin mo pa kung paano mo siya sisimulan, paano yung mga licenses, sino yung makakatulong mo, sino yung mga staff mo. When it when it comes to franchising, you are just copying all the concept. They will be training you kung ano na yung natutunan nila. Kung baga kung ano man yung mga naging um, uh, errors nila from their business, in-eliminate na nila yon. So they are teaching you the advantages or kung ano man yung good concept na meron yung business nila. And at the same time, short learning curve, like I said earlier, no? Short learning curve kasi nga, inaral na nila lahat ng proseso. Kung baga, ipapasa na lang nila sa'yo yung effective way ng paggawa ng business. Effective way ng pag-set up ng business na yun. So, it's a very, very easy concept. Easy, 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 easy business to start up, which is franchising. Isa yan sa pinakamadaling iset up na business. Though, sabi mo nga kanina, what are the disadvantages? Uh, meron pa rin siyang disadvantages for some. If you're getting a franchising business, some some, uh, some of the franchising, they are charging uh, royalty fees. Kasi syempre, uh, they are checking on your after sales, they are monitoring your sales and everything in a monthly basis. So you have to pay a royalty, a royalty fee. So, but for, for our concept, wala. So, we don't charge a royalty fee. And then, uh, you also have a control or limitation. Kasi unlike, if you have your own business, syempre, kahit anong gawin mo, pwede. Like, pwede kang 
sa restaurant mo, kinabukasan, naisip mong mag-adobo, pwede kang mag-adobo. The next day, kung magsinigang, pwede kang magsinigang. But it doesn't work in a franchising. All the concept na meron yung main, uh, yung franchisor, you have to copy it. Yun yung limitation mo. So, kung ano lang yung concept nila, yun lang yung gagayahin mo. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-reinvent. So, that's the disadvantage of a franchising. And of course, uh, medyo costly. Some, ah, some franchising are, are very, very expensive kasi nga, yung business name yung binibili mo. But for Sumuji, uh, very ano lang siya. Uh, kumbaga, affordable naman yung franchise namin. So, yun yung mga disadvantage lang of a franchising business. Okay. Um, so, depende pa rin yan sa franchise mo, no? Like, uh, may iba dyan. Um, siguro one of the biggest franchise is ano ba um mga potato corner yes uh, Jollibee say, actually yun yung pinaka pero mahal kasi yung Jollibee uh-huh. like, <laughs> I think nasa 20 to 20. 30 m yes 20, 20 to 30 m. million na uh, Jollibee so franchise pa lang yun no mm-hmm. right so anyways what are the tips right that you can give for those who want to start a franchise business. Okay. Uh, siguro tips na lang for those who want to start a business. Not just uh, a franchise. Kasi when, when franchise business, kasi it's very easy to start up a business kasi you're copying the concept. But if they want to venture in their own business, make sure that if they're getting a business, dapat ano sila, passionate sila dun sa ginagawa nila. Kasi nga, if they're just putting up a business for the sake na it's a trend or may bulk of money lang sila and I, I put it somewhere na tingin ko mag-work to, dapat yung business na isa-set up nila is passionate sila dun sa ginagawa nila. And then, if let's say naman they're gonna get a franchise business, dapat hindi sila kumuha ng business na masasabi lang nila na trend. Or, let's say, ito kasi yung hype, so I'll get it. Something like that. So, ako kasi, ang laki kong, nung nag-start kami, we don't go to the trend. Kasi, we want to be the trend. Gusto namin kami yung mag-set up ng something na magiging gagayain siya sa market. So, yun yung mga advice ko dun sa mga starter business. Dapat may passion sila dun sa ginagawa nila. Alright. Um, thanks, June, for um, giving us insights on on starting a business. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully, this would give insight or courage for those who want to start a business. Um, also, um, as you mentioned, you're into the franchising business and um, we'll... we'll provide them later on, right? We'll send them emails as well on if they mm-hmm. want or if they're interested to franchise with their business. I know you have some promos to give them, right? But um, for today, um, since Tiff will not be able to join us, there are some technical difficulties. Um, I know a lot of people are still adjusting with the way things are. Um, so it has something to do with the next one. But don't worry, um, we'll, I'll be having a separate session with Tiff. Um, we'll be recording it um, and try to invite you as well. Um, the, the, um, those who registered and actually wanted to see Tiff, um, we'll send another invite. Um, we'll record that. And for those who will not be able to join, can just watch the um, video or the recording that we'll have. Um, so do you have any final words, Jean? Um, thank you. Thank you sa mga listeners. Thank you sa mga nakinig. I hope that the discussion today will enlighten you to set up your own business. Or if, if you don't have fund yet, try to like loan or it's all about taking risk. That, and yun lang yung, yun lang yung masasabi ko. Business is all about taking risk. So mas risk taker, mas higher ang potential na maging successful ka sa business. That's it. All right. Um, thanks, Jean. Um, we'll just wait for a minute or two 
just in case there's still some questions, right? Um, while sure. yeah, while we're waiting for their questions, kung meron man, right? Um, so just 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 to be informal about it, what what are the things that you're doing now to enhance your your um, sumuji business? Ako? Yeah. Akala, akala ko yung, yung pag-workout or mga ganun. No, uh, sir, if you could, why not? Uh, hindi, actually, sa Sumuji, we're trying up ano, other products na kasi ngayon talaga, people are very concerned with their health. So, we are launching a new drink, which is yung immune booster namin. Kasi yung mga previews na na drink namin is more on fruits, yung mga favorite na fruits natin, which is yung mga avocado, bukulaychi, melon, ganun. So, since sabi, sabi, nga, sabi mo kanina, di ba, you, you have to adopt with the current situation. So, ngayon kasi ang mga tao, it's very health conscious. Ano ba yung magpapaboost ng immunity, uh, immune system nila? So, we think of a drink na healthy and... Uh, Maganda siya, maganda siya. Uh, meron siyang kale, meron siyang wheatgrass, malunggay. So, it's a super food in just one drink. And at the same time, very refreshing, very healthy. So, yun yung kinoconceptualize namin ngayon. We, that we, we will launch it by next, next, next week, hopefully. So, and um, marami pa, marami pa kami lalabas. Yun yung busy kami ngayon sa, sa, sa Sumuji. Alright, so yun nga, tama nga sabi mo, if you're into business, you really need to think of ways to adapt and, you know, go with the times. Mm-hmm. And, at, right? and at the same time kasi, syempre, yung nangyayari ngayon, we we know we need to help others din, lalo na yung mga frontliners namin. Yung sa delivery system namin ngayon, nagpapa-online delivery kami, and at the same time, some, some of the portion nung, nung income namin is pinapadala namin sa mga frontliners. Binibigyan din namin sila ng mga sumuji drink namin. So, kanina, nagpadala kami sa uh, Metropolitan Hospital ng mga sumuji drink nila para something na may enjoy naman nila while working sa mga critical situations ngayon. Alright. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, some of them are already messaging or they're interested with your franchise as well. Oh, um, wow. We'll, we'll reach out to them and hopefully mm. we'll have a private session, right? So that they would be able to to um, know more your, about your business. All right. Okay. With said, um, thank you, everybody, for staying with us for this one-hour session. Um, I do apologize. We were not able to... Um, include or have if join in today um but don't worry as mentioned we would be having teeth again soon um we'll just be having a recording a different session um, we'll send an email to everybody um but again gene thank you for accommodating us and hopefully next time you can come back and you know give us more progress on on your business or other thank you everybody thank you for joining thank you again thanks dean thank you marvix